Tinkercad friends, let's do a new project. This is a blast from the past. I'm going to name it Fast Keychain. I'd like you to do the same. I'll grab a box, bring it out on your screen, and then my new style is to simply type 70, so it's 7 centimeters. Click on that and type 25, so it's 25 millimeters. And I like when it's 2 millimeters thick. That works nice and nifty for my keychain base, I call it. And then I want to cut a hole out of it. Now a new skill I've learned is to hold Alt and Shift together. So these go one little chunk at a time. And I want you to get to 5 or 6 millimeters. If you find that you're having trouble getting close, this little fit view to selection and then holding Alt and Shift makes it much easier to get that last little chunk. And lastly, if that doesn't work, switch to 0.5 millimeters, and then it'll let you get to 5. Then you can zoom back out. You can drag this where you want, but I'm a much bigger fan of using the arrow keys. I'm going to set it back to 1 millimeter because I like that amount of movement better. If you get to the edge and go in 2 millimeters, that way you can make sure it's symmetrical. When you've got it placed the way you want, this is one of my favorite parts about Tinkercad, is when you group it, it uh, cuts that hole out. Love this little fit view to selection. Taking a look at it from the top, let you see what it looks like in that angle. Uh, here I am right click orbiting. This is my wheel scrolling in. These are all the cool skills that you can use as you build things. I need to add words to my keychain, and I want my words to be cut in, but I don't want them to be all the way through. I want them to only be 1.5 millimeters through. So I'm going to set this back to 0.5, and I'm going to push it down 0.5 millimeters. So now it is 1.5 millimeters into the design. I'm going to put my words up here. I am going to put my name. I'm going to switch it so I can fit to view to selection, and I'm going to look at it from the top. And then this is so cool. If you grab the handles in the middle, you can simply stretch it in that direction without changing anything else. Uh, I could nudge it, but I can also just stretch it to the location I want that's perfect for my keychain. I want to make sure I don't run into the hole. If I click on the base and do that fit view and top view, I get a good look at it. I'm going to change my words to a hole. You can notice I accidentally clicked on the base and changed it to a hole. Now it looks the way it should, and when I select all of those and group it, I have created an awesome keychain that'll have my name partially cut out. Now the nice thing about partially cut out is I don't have to worry about dangling letters like this E if I had cut it all the way through, and let me show you that real quick. So I'm going to push this all the way through, and now I'm going to group again and watch what happens to that centerpiece of that E it is no longer connected so it would fall off I don't want that so I'm gonna just do undo and undo again I make that piece a hole and then I group it and I'm back to my finished keychain at this point you can share it to Thingiverse you could take a screenshot and you could show it off and you can also invite me to see it uh, if you are at Harbor Lights and you create a keychain like this uh, copy that link and email to Harmon M and you can beg for a color but you'd get whatever I've got most likely but I will print a keychain because you took time to create it happy tinkering and I hope you had a great day